Alright, what is going on guys? HC Jammers here, back with another Street Fighter 5 video. It has been a while since I've done one, so I do apologise about that. I've been busy with other things and playing other games as well. But today, we're going to be talking about Mika's regular Brimstone. Yes, surprise, surprise, one of her, one of my favourite moves and probably one of her best moves uh, with her uh, in her plethora of moves in Street Fighter 5. And this is mainly for, well, one person asked me the other day, well, Actually, it was two people. Yes, specifically, it was two people asked me uh, questions regarding Brimstone. The first question was, uh, can we still use Brimstone the same way we did in the past two seasons? As in, do we still get setups from them? And I said, yes. And the other person, this was probably from a newer Mika player. He said, I don't know what to do when I land Brimstone in the corner. And I thought, eh, why not kill two birds with one stone and make a video regarding what you can do with Brimstone in the corner? Um, so if you're a competent or you're a seasoned Mika player, you know how this character works and functions. <laughs> I said functions. Shout out to Combo Feed. Uh, if you know how this character functions, then you don't need to watch this video. If you do want to watch it the whole way through, you're more than welcome to. It's probably I'm probably going to show you something that you didn't know before, but let's try and get through this as quickly as we can and make sure we're to the point as well. So without further ado, let me just double check my buttons are all good to go yes we are so we're going to talk about mika's regular brimstone which it looks like that yes we all know how this move works she basically cartwheels over the opponent picks them up don't know how she gets that muscle power and throws them away or throws them over her close to the corner of course now when you land the brimstone uh first off you get uh the, f the thing you need to know is you get 20 knockdown frames to work with now what that means is you've got 20 frames to work with before the opponent can, before the opponent gets up and is able to do something. And that's very good because uh, the, the usual thing Mika players do after Brimstone is they dash up. Now Mika's forward dash is 18 frames. So when you do a Brimstone, sorry, when you do a Brimstone and you dash up, that leaves you at plus two. So what that means is you're at, uh, you've got two frames of advantage before the opponent can do something on their wake up. That's very. Uh, it's a very basic way of explaining that situation. So when you do see the brimstone, when I get it out, a dash up. That's kind of mandatory now. Um, it can even happen in the corner as well. Uh, but it's kind of a mandatory thing that Mika players will do. So when you do this, you can dash up. You can do dash up light attack when my one decides to come out. You can do a dash up medium attack. Uh, you can do a dash up regular throw. Oh, sorry, dash up regular throw and it will connect meaty uh, when it's decided to come out. I don't know why it's not coming out. Uh, Alright, there you go. There's the meaty throw. And you can do a dash up uh, into another command. Grab. So you can do that as well. Now, if you do brimstone and dash up into brimstone, that's basically Mika's uh, throw loop. But it's a very risky one at that because if the command grab whiffs, there's been extra recovery frames added to all command grabs in the game. So it's you got to be very careful when wanting to do this. It's a very audacious thing to do, but the reward, uh, it's, a, it's a nice payoff. So we can do that. So let's set the computer to do a wake up attack. Now, let's see. Uh, I'm just knock Barog down. Yes, wake up like it because that is Barog's three frame button. So I'll just do a brimstone, dash up, do a light attack uh, when it decides to come out. I don't know why it's not coming out. There you go. So when Barrel decided to do his wake up, his fastest button, because three frames is the fastest uh, button when it comes to Street Fighter games, anything else is just slower. I can do a dash up light attack, that will hit him counter hit, because what's happening is with the counter hit is his start up frames are losing to active frames. That's a very intricate way of explaining what a counter hit is in fighting games. So the dash up light attack worked. Now let's try a dash up medium. And then dash up medium, that works. So all of this stuff is beating out the Balrog's uh, three frame button. You can do a uh, dash up regular throw as well. Now, one thing that's gonna be important information about uh, doing a regular throw after uh, forward dash from a brimstone is so when you land the brimstone, if you get the standing throw, your your Mika's further enough or she's far away enough so that barrog has got a lot of time or a little bit of time to think about what he wants to do next. If I get Balrog to crouch now, um, I believe, oh no, okay, I, set, I left his wake up option on because his standing attack, oh sorry, his wake up attack is a standing button. Let's do this again. Dash up Brimstone into Power Bomb when it decides to come out. Don't know what's going on with my stick today. I thought it was working. There we go. So, you don't get the throw loop or you don't get a, you're not at, at an advantage when you do a Power Bomb anymore. You're kind of push. you're slightly pushed back um, further away than usual so Mika can't actually get a set up from this. She can get something, but... She doesn't get anything big from it anymore. So 
It's like when you land those two throws or even if you land her back throw, all right, you don't get any setup or any legitimate setup from any of these throws because Mika is too far away to even dash up or be at an advantage. You'll be at a disadvantage. So it's not wise. If you go for a regular throw, it's basically back to neutral, no matter what throw it is. The standing throw, uh, the standing back throw, or the crouching throw. Take your pick. You're all back at neutral. Now, one thing to remember as well is... I would say when you land a brimstone, it's not really recommended to do dash up medium punch. And I'm simply going to show you because uh, when you do dash up medium, uh, if the opponent decides to back dash, they will be in an airborne state. Now, this is because uh, so since Mika's at a uh, plus two frame advantage after dash from a brimstone, uh, her stand medium punch will go from a five frame attack to a three frame attack. But when you back dash in Street Fighter 5 in general, this is a universal thing. You do not become airborne until the third frame of your back dash. So what happens is these two moves or these two situations or these two, yeah, these two moves are happening at the same time. So what it means is they'll just be in an airborne state. And because you think it's hit or because it has hit, you think, oh, let me link stand fist afterwards. But what will happen is Barrel will be able to punish that with an actual attack, uh, depending on what it is. Maybe a light attack, maybe something better on much harder hitting shall we say so it's not really recommended to do a dash up medium punch unless you know the guy's gonna wake up button and a lot of people nowadays are jumping or back dashing command grabs because they've got more of a reason to now so i wouldn't recommend doing stand medium punch um now if we go back to just the brimstone like i said so you can do brimstone into brimstone again and if you do go for this audacious attempt you get another chance to land a setup so now focusing more on what you can do in the corner um, one thing I like to is really basic is you whiff a light punch so you whiff a light punch and you go straight into Lady Mika the forward hard punch there now this is just I call it a checking situation just to see how the opponent reacts sort of thing now if they were to do a wake up button it will get crush counted you'll get crush counted I get a big that I get big damage I get a setup so on and so forth uh, if they try to backdash as well they should get crush counted if they don't try to if they don't try to press a button they try to neutral jump like another command grab attempt or something then i'll still get a 50 50 situation so i can go in front or i can stay in front or go behind you know the usual shenanigans mika gets off of the forward hard punch situation so that's good that's a very good checking situation and obviously if that is blocked uh let's put it on block or yeah that's blocked your plus three so you can do uh stand medium punch or you can do ex rainbow typhoon so that's a very that's a very decent situation to be in and that's just a checking situation things to just or a, a situation where you just check to see how your opponent reacts after a brimstone um another thing you can do is you can dash up and do like a tick throw uh so you can dash up do stand light kick and you should still be in range to land another brimstone now the reason you do a dash up light attack that's to kind of stop uh, backdash if they try to attempt to backdash once they're not mashing backdash then this should work you just go brimstone dash up light into another brimstone that's basically a tick throw and that should evidently work or we'll keep them in place now if the opponent uh, is trying to neutral jump or backdash what you can do is you can do stand light kick crouch light kick into crouch jab into the extreme piece that little sequence right there because what happens is they tend to block uh, let's see first attack only so what happens they tend to block the stand light kick and then they're not watching their feet Okay, that probably won't happen now Yeah, they probably hold on first attack only yeah, okay So what tends to happen is they block that and then they just don't block the rest of it uh, Let's get into stand so it makes more sense. Yeah, they kind of do that so that kind of happens um, If they do block all of this uh, they do block the two light attacks I believe, or the two light kicks, uh, let's get into stand and guard all. You should still be in range for a brimstone. Like that, there you go. Now, uh, I know more seasoned Mika players know this, they're still in range because after certain strings, you're still in range of a command grab. This is a very fortunate situation for Mika. Um, Luffy uses this quite a bit actually, so you can, do, you can do stand light kick, crouch light kick, and you're still in range for an EX Brimstone. So you don't have to do Rainbow Typhoon to throw out the corner. And if you do land the EX Brimstone, you are plus three after a dash. So they can definitely, they definitely cannot back dash in that situation. So that's very, very good to know. So if you do Brimstone, you can do one, two into EX Brimstone, or you can do, let's get them not to guard all. 
Or if you if you can sense they're going to backdash on neutral jump, you can spend the bar, get EXP. And since it's in the corner, you get some sort of OK -key because it's not mid-screen, so they can't really run away. Um, that's one other thing you can do in the corner. I'd say... Uh, what else can you do? This is something I've done before, but... Uh, I, I found it a couple months ago, but I only use it against characters with a four frame button or slower because of the frame track that's used afterwards. So let me put Balrog on wake up option one again. So what you do is you do brimstone, you whiff a stand medium punch. So you whiff that to kill some frames and then you go to do a crouch light punch and the crouch light punch will connect counter hit. So what it does is it looks like this. One, there you go. And then you get some damage from there. Uh, that, yeah, the reason I do that on full frame buttons is because stat, uh, Crouch Light Punch into Stand Medium Punch, that is a frame trap you can use against characters with a full frame button, not with a three frame button. If you do go up against a character with a three frame button and you want to do that, I guess you could do... Uh, let's try this. I guess you could do something like this. One. Yeah, you can do something like that. Or even so, you can do... Uh, Go for the reset into EH Rainbow Typhoon. It's something there. There's many things you can do in the corner. She's got about six or seven things you can do. Regular throw, like I showed you some tick throws uh, into command throw itself. You know, you can even just go for the audacious attempt and go, look, I want to land the brimstone and then get the stun. So I'll just dash up and do that. So she's got quite a bit of options in the corner. Uh, I don't think there's anything that's based off of hard reads or maybe the dash up command throw is because that's you just know the opponent's going to sit there and block um but that's primarily it uh hopefully that has helped people just understand situations or options that mika has in the corner she has a like i said she has a multitude of things she can do after she lands a brimstone in the corner you don't always have to dash um you can mix it up and do something else now once you understand all the offensive options that mika has then it kind of looks like something like this so you do brimstone then you dash up brimstone, or oh, sorry, brimstone, dash up brimstone when it comes out. Can't believe it's not coming out now. They, uh, what is going on today, jammers? There you go. They look something like this. Then it, 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 it can get really, really ugly. Yeah. So it can look like that. And that's a very offensive sequence. Like I said, or I haven't said this before, but she is a momentum based character. When you gain momentum off a of brimstone, it can get really, really ugly. So, you know, just stuff like that can happen in the corner. You rack up stun, you go nuts, and then it's night-night for the opponent. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, this has helped people understand, uh, or the two people that specifically ask questions about Brimstone. Hopefully, this has given you a deeper insight in what you can do. Just go in training mode and mess around with it. Always remember, always, always remember, you are plus two after a forward dash when you land the Brimstone, no matter where you are on screen. Um, kind of use you can use some of these setups, or you can use other ones that you come up with in the corner, just to kind of check. You want to check what the opponent does after Brimstone in the corner first, before you really be adventurous and try uh, and go. Oh, I'm just gonna land another command grab in the corner. I will leave some video links in the description below, uh, based on what you can do. I didn't really show delayed wake up setups, but I will put some. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely put some links in the description so you can go check those out. Um, but other than that. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Like I said, apologies uh, that it's been a while since I've uploaded Street Fighter 5 videos. Um, I've been playing Dragon Ball Fighters and some other games as well. But I'll be coming back to this game soon. Um, probably when Blanca drops, see what's coming up with him. I do have some more uh, V-Trigger 2, uh, 2 tech videos I can do, mainly regarding anti-V-Reversal tech. Because that is uh, that's something I'm having fun with at the moment. And that's something that's really stood out to me in terms of V-Trigger 2 stuff. Because... It's it's a linear V trigger, but there's tons of mix-ups you can do. But I'll I'll do more videos on that real soon. But yeah, guys, if you want to follow me on uh, YouTube, you can. You can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoyed the video, uh, if you don't want to subscribe, it's not the end of the world. We can go about our day. If you want to follow me on the other following social media outlets, you can. My Twitch and my Twitter are in the description below. And like I said, there will be other video links. In the description below for you to go and check out but yeah hopefully this has helped um if you already knew this stuff apologies for wasting your time if you didn't know this stuff well hopefully you learned something new but this has been your boy hc jammers and i will see you guys on the next street fire 5 video so until then take care and enjoy the rest of your day